you are now about to witness your DJ for this evening. Hello. Hit me. This is a test. It's serious. It's a dream. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Totem Soup. My name is Holy Totemic, and this is Totem Soup. Thank you for holding this. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, I'm finishing an email. You gotta hold on. Partners of the Common Good and CEO of Cap. Um, I've got a ticket number, but I gotta finish the first. Sure. It was on hold for a while. Okay. I have to double check. Oh, I have to say thank you. Okay, I hate computers. I hate computers. If you didn't hear that, I really hate computers because I am so sick and tired. Ignore that. Okay, so we'll see if he gets back to me. Then, okay. Uh, the number, the ticket number, and I have a certain a limited amount of patience to sit here because I'm actually really hungry. I got a message earlier today. I don't have time to, to solve this problem. Two zero one two one zero zero one two one zero dot five five zero zero five five. Oh. That's an update. All right, was there a 272 number in regards to that? Because that's two, a... 20201 Okay. And what seems to be going on today? Oh, I, you know what? I hate this. This is why we need health care reform in this country. I get the third doctor I told the same problem to, okay? And I'm done. Here's the problem. When I, 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 I have a computer, I speak English, I do not speak MITEs, okay? On my computer, I can, I have two little boxes. I can go into my inbox and write from my business, or I can go into another inbox and write from my personal ID. I frequently, using Outlook, like to compose an email using my, my business email, and I like to copy myself, my personal email, on the PC line. And when I start to retype my personal email, a little drop-down appears, and I click on it. And every time I do that, I get a failure notice. And I want this escalated. I am going to f- I am really frustrated. Do you guys get that? Really frustrated. This has been going on for a couple of days. And I don't know why it's discrimination against AOL. They don't like it, but for some reason, it, I keep getting an error message telling me that um, I was not able to deliver your message to the following address. It gives my personal email address, which is an AOL, and it keeps telling, it gives me a whole line of gobbledygook that I don't understand, but it won't allow me to simply copy. And so what they thought was that I just needed to retype freshly new my, my my personal email address, and then everything would be fine. This is three days now, two days, and I'm still getting the same problem. Like every time I use the drop-down box, it somehow says we can't deliver to that address. I want the discrimination against AOL to stop. I don't care if it's a crappy company. I don't care if it's technologically back in the Stone Ages. It's out there. Everybody's going to get used to it, and I'm tired of this. <clears throat> and I have two seconds of patience left. That's it. Fair enough. And I want to go, I'm sorry, but I want to go up the totem pole, okay? You may have six years of experience. I want the guy that's got 45 years of experience now. Talking to somebody with 20 years of experience, but that's... Well, I have like 25. Okay. Oh. I, I want this solved. I don't want to have to keep... This, 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 prior to Monday, this did not happen. Man on the moon, we can fix this. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to have you go to, uh, can you do log me in for me? Because I'm... Yeah, I'm having to stop my work, so I'm going to be equally as unpleasant because I'm really grumpy when I can't do my work. So just okay. know that, that's on top of everything else. So I go to, and I'm a terrible, terrible typist, logmein123.com. Mm -hmm. So, and my machine takes forever. Give me the code. 173-639. And I've been down this road already. Do you know how frustrating it is to keep repeating the same troubleshooting and have nothing happen? I'm going to clear out your, uh, your auto type cache. And you realize that means absolutely nothing to me? So generally, when okay. you type in the email addresses in that two I, field, I, I, and I, I, it drops down. Well, come, come, hold on. Mm -hmm. Now it's asking me to run this. Yep, run Are it. you getting any response yet? Just keep clicking run. There we go. Allow access. Yep. Okay. Yes. There's going to be one more okay after you're done approving those through, and that's it. I think this is actually our server that's causing the trouble. It's just a, a bad autocomplete file on your main computer. Is, does that main com computer mean the one in Minneapolis? No, the one you're sitting at. Oh, brand new computer. May. Yep. Thanks already. I'm not getting any response here. I'm. I'm. It just connected. Okay. Sure. One second. Now, keep in mind when I do this, all of your autocomplete stuff is going to be cleared out. But what does that mean? Almost always resolves the problem. Basically, when you type an email address in the to field, that little drop-down menu, that's autofill. Yeah. If that gets corrupted, things like what you're seeing happens. So you have to clear out your autofill. Unfortunately, when you do that, you have to rebuild the autofill, which means the first few times you 
type in email address. Oh, that means the thousands of emails won't. I'm losing. Okay, so You're I'm not losing really. emails. You're no, not losing. I know, but it, it, I understand that, but it means that now even my colleagues, I have to retype every single freaking address, and I probably have thousands of email addresses. Yeah. So well, all that work that you and Bill Gates think is helping me, it's not. It's creating all kinds of work for me. Type in the first three letters of an email address you normally send to, okay? Yes, yes. Now you just do check name, and that's it. Yeah, but can I tell you something? Do you know how many incorrect addresses check name has sent? Check name. That doesn't work. Doesn't check work. Let me give you an example. There's a guy, R. Ronald L. Phillips. Okay, this is the right address, RLP, but I also typed it RPL, and it comes up. And that is not, and you go, you do check names, and it says this is right. This is wrong. Yep, that's, that's stored in your right. autocomplete cache. That's the problem is that broken one is stored in your autocomplete cache. So if we clear that out, it removes all the bad ones that you've typed too. Okay, but it means every single email that I had that I did use is gone, and I have to rebuild the whole thing. So I'm just going to tell you I'm incredibly unhappy and incredibly unimpressed. That would be something you have to take out with Microsoft, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, I think they all suck, to be honest. I do. I, I think they've built um, technology that does nothing that creates m more work and less efficiency in this economy. So go ahead and do what you need to do, but I'm really unhappy. I apologize. That's really the only fix, though. There's no way to manually edit out bad entries. So why, but why when I was correctly entering my personal email address, which I happen to know, why was it then sending the message saying, no, nah, I'm not going to, I can't deliver this? Because if your cache is bad, it'll autocorrect. Cash? Like cash I get from an ATM? No, cash. What is cash? It's it's where it's where it's your computer -E stores -E 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 or C A S H. Yeah. Yes. Which one? It's the first one. That's like a cache of weapons. I've never heard. You guys need to speak English. I do not speak your language. You need to speak mine. It's, it's so it's a storage area where all the temporary email addresses files. are kept. Yeah, temporary files okay. in general. All right. Nobody else except you five people speak the language that you speak. The rest of us don't. Mm. And why did this just happen on Monday? It happens whenever an invalid email is typed in there. It might have been a an accidental thing. Well, or I've had, it may have I've just had the computer corrupted. for five or six months. Nothing's happened. It, it may have just gotten corrupted either way. When this happens, this generally doesn't happen, but... All right, that should have done it for you. Literally it. So let's do it. Can we do a test, please? Sure. All right, so I'm going to write to myself at work because I don't want to put somebody else through this. You don't have to do that. You could have just done VIC and hit check name, and it would have brought up the, the exact correct email you needed. See? Okay. Now if I type VE. Mm -hmm. It'll give you the two options that are in there. This is not a valid address. How do I get rid of it? Right click on that. Yep. And it looks like it is in the contact somewhere. Where has it's that not, been it added? Is not, it, it's bad. It's B-A-D. Okay. Let's go, let's go property on this one. Oh, the, yeah, get, yeah. Get rid of it. No, let's try that again. Like That's that? correct. All right. I want to I want to send something. So I want to see if this works because I'm tired of when I'm, I know it'll, oh, I'm hopeful it gets in here. Okay. There's the test. But now I want to, oh, it didn't come through. All right. So that did work. All right. Oh, shoot. I didn't want to do that. How do I undelete this? Literally just drag it over to your inbox yeah, and it'll I'm come not back. A, you know, people don't get, most of us have occupational disabilities, so I'm not good at this. They should make it so people, I'm a clicker. I'm not a dragger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you're saying this has solved the problem? Yeah. Um, How come somebody can do this? In um, not everybody has the same level of knowledge I have. I've just been doing it for you know who 20 is? years. Yeah. Do you know who is? Okay. Would you do me a favor? Yeah. Would you go give her a tutorial on what you just did? Because she couldn't do it yesterday. So you need to be educating your colleagues. I usually am. <laughs> All right. So would you tell her? She yeah. fucked up. <laughs> and she. Do you, he, this is the message I kept getting. Okay. There you go. Yep. And you while say, you're rebuilding. You know what? I'd like you to be better at your job because you're wasting time. time. <laughs> While you're rebuilding your cache, just make sure you're using that check name thing so the accidental bad entries don't get in there. So as long as you keep using check name, it will always put in the correct email address. What if I have a brand new name that has never been entered? Um, that would be a good time to probably add that to your um, contact list. Not I don't do it that way. I don't do it that way. I type the email in. If, if you manually type the full email address in and just right click on the email after you're done typing it, you can just click Ooh. add to contacts and it pulls up Well, here's what I don't like. Okay. I have contacts. I don't want to use. I don't want CRF. I like my A, I like my AOL contacts. So I want this. I don't. I want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. But I don't want to lose this in there. I want this. I want something somebody in this country does not have anymore. A personal life. And I don't want everything in my. You know. I want a zone of privacy. As Hillary would say. Fair enough. And I don't. I don't. And I don't. I don't like the way these systems work. Okay? Unfortunately. I used to be a person changed. before I became. You know. Yeah. I, I completely a understand. A light friend on Facebook. 
Uh, okay. And unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't merge personal with with um with work life. Well, it's too bad. I mean, that you know what my attitude is. Then then you guys you guys aren't doing a very good job. That's my bottom line. I so. program for Android. I don't touch Microsoft with a ten foot pole. Well, I'm I'm just telling you this this is I'm hope this works. But in the meantime, if you got a lunch break, teach you to do what you just did. Oh, I'll definitely show her every time. All right. Okay. Bye bye. No problem. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye bye. This is a journey into sound. My name is Holy Totemic and this is Totem Soup.